B7, Mrs. Cindy? That is me. Good morning. I am Officer James and I will be conducting your interview today. How are you today? I'm great. Thanks for asking. What about yourself? I'm great too. Please follow me. Sure. Go ahead and put your things on the table. Thank you. Before you sit down, you need to stay standing because I need you to take the oath. Please raise your right hand. Okay. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help you God. Yes, I do. Great. Have a seat. Thank you. Do you have any questions before we start? Yes, I do. I make a few errors in the application and I would like to update my answers. Is that okay? That is okay and thank you for letting me know. Please bring up the changes when we get to that section. I will. Thank you. Can you show me your appointment letter, your green card, and your state-issued ID? Sure, here they are. Thank you. First, I will review your application form to make sure all the information is correct. Then we do the civics test and the English reading and writing test. If everything goes well, we will be done in about 20 to 30 minutes. Sound good. Have you been waiting long? No, just 15 minutes. How did you come here today? I come here by car. Did anyone come here with you? No, I came here by myself. Did you have any problems getting here? No, I did not. Good. Why do you want to be an American citizen? Because I hope to become an American to vote in the next election. Are you feeling worried today? Honestly, yes. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Are you ready for your interview? Yes, I am ready. When did you become a permanent resident? Since June 21st, 2015. What is your current legal name? Cindy Chen. Have you used any other names? No. Do you want to legally change your name? No, thank you. What's your birth? December 14, 1990. And what is your country of origin? 
Vietnam. Can you verify your social security number, please? 385-283-274 What is your phone number? 61374-5733 What's your current address? Sorry, officer. I make a mistake here on the application form. The apartment number is 10, not 20. So my address is 388 Ocean Avenue, up 10, bottom, Massachusetts, 02151. Okay, not a problem. Let me update that. Did you move after applying for naturalization? No, officer. Where have you resided during the last five years? I live current address since I came to the U.S. What is your current marital status? I am single. Is either of your parents a U.S. citizen? Yes, my father is a U.S. citizen. Who was the sponsor of your green card? My father sponsored me. What is your height? I'm five feet six. What is your occupation? I'm an accountant. Where do you currently work? I work at my company, Boston, Massachusetts. How long have you worked there? About five years. Who is your current employer? Mars Company. Have you ever left the United States since you became a permanent resident? Yes, I have. How many trips have you taken outside the United States? Five trips. Did you stay outside the country for more than six months during any of the trips? No, officer. When was your last trip? It was July 2021. What was the purpose of your trip? To visit my grandparents and relatives. Let us go over some questions from Part 12 of N400 application. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen? No. Have you ever voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No. Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined to a mental institution? No, officer. What is a mental institution? 
is it a place for people with mental problems? Do you have any unpaid, overdue, federal, state, or local taxes? No, I don't. What does O mean? It means to have a debt. Have you always filed your taxes since getting your green card? Yes, I have. What is filing a tax return? To send tax paperwork to the government. Have you ever been a terrorist? No, I never. Have you ever persecuted any person because of race? Religion or natural origin. No. Have you ever been a member of or in any way associated, either directly or indirectly, with the Communist Party? No. Were you ever involved in any way with genocide? No, officer. Did you ever help in a guerrilla group? No. Have you helped another person to sell, give, or provide weapons to any person? No. What is a weapon? An object such as a knife, gum, a bomb. Have you ever been convicted of a crime or offense? No. What does to be convicted mean? It means to be found guilty of a crime under the law. Have you ever been a prostitute or procured anyone for prostitution? No, I never. Was an order for deportation ever imposed on you? No. Do you support the Constitution? And form of government of the United States. Yes, I do. What is the Constitution? It's the supreme law of the land. If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? Yes, I am. Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes. What is oath of allegiance to the United States? It's a promise to be loyal to the United States. If the, If the law requires it, requires it are, you are you willing to perform, perform non-combatant services, services in the U.S. Armed, armed Forces? Yes. If the law requires, are you willing to perform work of? Yes. Excellent. Now let's Now, do the civics do test. The civic test. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes, I am. I will ask you up to ten questions, 
but if you get six answers correct, I will stop you. Who is in charge of the executive branch? The president. Correct. What is the name of the president of the United States now? Joe Biden. Absolutely correct. What is freedom of religion? You can practice any religion or not practice a religion. Great. When do we celebrate Independence Day? July 4. Correct. What does the judicial branch do? Reviews laws. Good. What is one thing Benjamin Franklin is famous for? U.S. Diplomat. All right. You got six questions correct and passed the civics test. Let's do the English reading and writing test now. First, read the sentence on the tablet in front of you, please. What country is to the north of the United States? Now, I am going to read you a sentence. Use the stylus pen or your finger to write the sentence down on the tablet for me. Canada is to the north of the United States. Canada is to the north of the United States. Great! You passed the English reading and writing test. Congratulations! You passed the interview. Thank you, officer. Please look at the application on the tablet and make sure everything is correct. And then you sign and date at the bottom. Everything is correct. Now, I will submit your application for approval and here is a copy of your test result. Thank you, officer. Can I ask a question? Sure. You said I passed the interview, but on the form, it says a decision cannot be made. There is nothing to worry about. I just need my supervisor to do a quality check and final approval. You will get a confirmation in your account soon. Thank you, officer. Thank you for your watching.